everybody. I am going to do one of the Take 5 Art Journal Challenges by Kyra Pace, and I will link her channel below. But um, the one, she did one, and she did a landscape. I'm going to probably just do more abstract. This was the first one of the Take 5 Challenges I did. Um, I really like how this one turned out. So now we're going to try something new. And this one, the first thing is pattern paper. So I have some pattern papers, and I'm just trying to figure out hmm, what I want to use. I think I'm going to use that. And I'm just going to, like, put it across here. So, um, because I'm going to be using gesso as one of the things, um, oops. I think I'll just uh, see if I can't get this, the edges, that's probably the part that's the most important. But it gets stuck down right. I'm going to put it mostly here and then I'm going to put it here. Now because I planned all along to use this old book as an art journaling book, it's already got um, some pages glued together so that it was thick enough. And let me just glue my edges down a tiny bit better because I don't know how well the gesso will stick. Okay, so the next thing um, is the um, add stamping. Now I picked out a gesso that is not going to be clear. It's really a white gesso. So I think I think I'm going to use the Stina Wakely because I think it will go on it'll go on clear but I'm supposed to add stamping so I have this stamp is the one I'm going to use um, and now that I thought about it let me check my wooden stamps, and maybe I will use a bird as well, because the bird's got that same mandala, mandala, or however you say it, on it type of thing. And I think I want to use um, the waterproof ink, which is the Ranger Archival ink, because I don't want um, it to come off, because that wouldn't be good. make sure I get this inked up well. Yeah, that inked up nicely. Here. And let's do one here. Here. I'm going to do several. And I want to do like that. And like this. And then I'm just going to like clean it like that. Okay, that's one. And then I'm going to do this bird. Okay, and one more bird. Let's 
to a bird down here. Okay, and then I'm just gonna do like I did with the other, just kind of do the ghosting. Okay, that's done. All right, the next thing it says is to use um, add gesso. Okay, so I'm gonna add some gesso. And this time I'm just going to, let's see, I usually daub, so maybe I'll just daub. I was gonna like use a card and just scrape it, but I think, I think this will be good. And this is just a nice clear gesso and this ink, like I said, was a waterproof ink. So I don't have to worry about that. Let me double check my framing. Oh, we're doing good. I love this Dina Wakely gesso. It's so nice. And I use it pretty sparingly. Okay. All right. So that is done. Now, let's see. It says add doodling. And I don't think this is quite dry, so I'm just going to give it a zap. says to add doodling so I think I want to take my pit pen because I think it's water resistant ink and I'm going to take my fat one which is an eight and I, what I'm going to do is just doodle like uh, this on this like that here All right, and then I'm going to kind of fill that in. I like these take five. This is only the second one I've done, but you know, there's just something kind of relaxing about it. And also, I don't, you don't have a plan and whatever it comes out to be, it comes out to be. So it's kind of um, fun that way. I think. Okay, that's a little bit of doodling. And then I'm just gonna do some stuff like this. Use the noise if you can hear the outside noise because I got windows open just because it's so nice out. Okay. I want to 
want to write a little bit of a quote. Um, I'm just looking for a little bit. I've got this old um, selected poems of Emily Dickinson, and so I would like to oh, write one tiny little thing. Just a verse. Let's see. I always found her um, poetry so interesting because, you know, she was um, blind, so she didn't see this. You know, these things she talked about, and somehow um, she was able to, like, write about this stuff, which to me is just um, <clears throat> short of amazing. I really need to read a little bit more of her um, history, again, just to refresh my mind. So I'm just looking for something. Um, I know there's something. <laughs> A narrow fit, nope. Just, you know, I, I just love, I love poetry. Robert Frost is one of my favorites. And um, I love, um, um, Emily Dickinson. And, you know, there's just so many. But I'm just looking for something. Let's do this one. I just wanted to get something in here. So this one is The Happy Winds Their trim Timbrels Took. Uh, the Happy Winds There Timbrels took. Does that make any sense? <laughs> the birds and docile rose. Arranged themselves. Around their prince, the wind is prince of those. And that is Emily. Dickinson. Okay, and then, because I, then the last thing is the, um, you're supposed to use make marks with bubble wrap. So, I was going to use this green. So I think I'm going to do that. And this is what I'm going to do. 
going to take my bit of bubble wrap and I'm going to spray it with this diluted acrylic paint um, that I did. Ah, come on. Ah, come on. It's stuck. The paint must have, like, dried it. Ah, there we go. <laughs> okay, come on. Alright, and I want to be sure it gets on the bubble wrap really good so that I don't have like a glomped up mess anywhere. Ooh, a little wet. Alright. I don't want it that wet, so let's just take that off. Let's, let's get some of this extra water off of here. Because I want it to like work nicely. Okay. I probably should have used just straight paint. Right? Okay, good enough. All right, so that was the last um, instruction. I'm going to do, um, just because I like the way that the Mod Podge looks on the top, and I'm gonna do some Mod Podge, but I gotta dry this first. <laughs> of it's already dry so there I like I really like it it's very muted page and I do at least have the words but like I said I want to just give it a coat of Mod Podge I do like the look of the Mod Podge and it seals everything on top of it which is great That looks like that was probably enough for my entire page. Let me push this down a little for y'all. I know sometimes if I don't look, I don't see if I'm off someplace. So yeah, um, really the bubble wrap markings turned out the best right in that corner. You could really... Um, you can really see what they look like. Okay, let me just make sure that's straight. And let me just give it one little whip here with this. Take five is done, and I'm very happy with it. I really like the way it turned out with the muted colors. So, thank you very much for watching. Bye.